Hey y'all, what's up? We back at it with a new video. I'm doing a quick weave and this hair looks crazy. Do y'all see how my hair look? It's time for something new and by the title, you already know what we doing today. So let's get into it. Today I'm gonna be doing a side part quick weave. I did remove my extensions and I washed my hair and I also washed my extensions. So what I'm doing right now is I've already blow dried my hair and everything. So I'm just parting out where I want my side part to be. And let's get into it, y'all. This video was highly requested by a lot of my subscribers. So let's get this done, okay? Speaking of subscribers, y'all, we at 10K. Ew. When it comes to parting, I'm a perfectionist, especially on myself. So I parted my hair so many different times, y'all. <laughs> Now that I got my hair parted, I'm going to go ahead and take my leave outs out. I only want a little bit of leave out, so I'm just going to do a little bit on this side, and then I'm going to do a little bit on the other side. I also am going to leave out a little bit of my edges. I don't want too much out. Now, after I've left that part out, I'm just going to braid it up and move it out the way, and I'm going to do the same exact thing to the other side. I didn't leave out my edges on this side, preferably because I just don't really like too much hair being left out. It's less work. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start braiding my hair down. I do big braids. I don't really make them too small. Um, if I was doing it on a client, they will be smaller, but it's on me, so I don't do them too small. If you don't know how to braid, I would suggest you get someone to braid your hair down for you. When I first started out, I usually would get someone to braid my hair down. But now that I've been doing my hair for so long, I've learned how to braid my own hair down. So that is what I do now is I braid my own hair. <laughs> I have completed my breakdown. I'm going to show y'all how it look. Now I'm going to go in with this quick weave protector and put it all over my hair. And also I'm going to put it on top of my cap as well. You can use a brush like the one I have here or you can use your hands. It's totally up to you. But I like to use a brush because it's not so messy. But you just want to spread the protector everywhere like Everywhere you think the glue is going to be, put it all over your head. This will prevent glue from getting on your hair. So make sure you spread it everywhere you think you're going to have some glue. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my cap on. You can use a black cap. But I prefer to use this um, beige cap because you can see through it. So you're going to see why that's important. 
um, when I put the glue on my cap. And also after you put the cap on, you do want to put more of that quick weave protector on top of the cap to prevent glue from getting on your hair. And y'all, this is where I dropped the stuff on me. I was like, oh my gosh, walking around looking crazy with stuff all on my shirt. Ugh. I'm gonna spread the quick weave protector all over the cap. Anywhere I think I'm gonna put some glue at is gonna be there, okay? And then after that, I'm gonna take my Super Bonder hair glue and I'm going to line the perimeter of my head. This is gonna help the cap stay down. All right, now it's time to install this beautiful hair from Charming Tresses. So I already used this hair, so it's already cut. Um, I had a previous stylist do um, a quick weave for me, and she already cut the hair. So I'm just going to put glue on these tracks, and I'm going to glue them in. You want to start in the back so the back could be a little bit more fuller than the sides. I do like a heavy bang so I do go full in the back and fuller like more tracks is what I mean um, in the back and I do them on my bang as well. So just be mindful of that when you are doing your side part quick. In the back, now I'm going to start going on my sides. So you see on one side I went up and then on this side I'm going to start um, creating my bang. You will see me put the longer tracks on the bang side so I'm just gonna since the longer tracks will go like on my bang and all the way around my head that's what I'm doing so the longer tracks I just use as my bang and they'll go you see all around my head And when I'm going around the back, since I can't see, I usually just like feel for the previous track that I put down. So that way I'm not putting that track on top of the previous track. Now I'm just gonna finish completing the rest of my head with the tracks. So you'll see me still going around with the longer tracks um, and putting them, you know, on my bang because I want my bang to be like super heavy. All right, so here is how it turned out. So I'm just turning my head around to show you guys the foundation. And I'm surprised I got it right, y'all. <laughs> it be hard doing your own hair sometimes, but hey, you gotta try at least once, right? I do my hair all the time. I don't know why I'm playing, but with, if y'all wanna do your own hair, just watch this video. You definitely could do it. So now I'm just going to go in with my hot comb and flatten out my roots because they're a little curly and I want my hair to be super flat and super neat. So I'm going to go in around my whole head at the top though um, with just my hot comb. Now for my leave out, I'm just going to take it down and comb it all out and get it stretched out really good and get it ready for this hot comb and this flat iron. Now I'm just going to take my hot comb and start pressing out the roots of my leave out. I love a nice, flat, and neat leave out, okay? If your leave out is not flat and neat 
and perfect then watch this video over and over and over again until you get it right i'm going in with my favorites my style factor edge booster wax stick and i'm just putting that all over my roots so we can get these roots ready to be pressed honey i love the wax because it kind of acts as like a heat protector Do y'all see what a hot comb and a wax stick do? Like, don't that just look so good already? I haven't even used a flat iron yet. Now I'm going to head over to this side and I'm going to put the wax on my edges as well because I want those to be straight and perfect as well. When you are using the hot comb, you do want to pull on your hair a little bit. That'll help get it a little bit more straighter. Now that we've hot combed the roots, we're just going to go in with a flat iron. We're going to put our flat iron on no higher than 380, 390. And we're just going to go in and press our leave out out. Now that we're complete with flat ironing the leave out, I'm going to just go in and add some more layers. I did have the previous stylist layer my hair, but of course I didn't put it in the exact way she did it last time. So I'm just going to go in with some more layers and do my thing, y'all. And I was measuring out my hair like because I didn't really want to cut my hair, but at the end... I cut my hair so that was just kind of pointless but if you don't want to cut your hair just you know move it out the way if you're interested in wanting to know how to layer and curl your hair I do have a layering and curling tutorial on one of my previous videos so make sure you check that out if you want a full detailed tutorial on how to layer and curl now I'm going to go ahead and layer the other side because you can't layer one side and not the other side. So I'm just doing longer layers on this side. They're going to be a little longer than the other side because I really don't want to cut my hair up too crazy. But yeah, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and work on my baby hair in just a second. I'm just making sure the part is perfect now i'm gonna go ahead and curl just the front of my hair y'all i did my hair on the day of my birthday dinner so it was kind of early in the day so i really didn't want to curl my whole head until like you know an hour 30 minutes before the dinner or whatever so i did just curl the front just to show y'all how the curls will fall and how you know it will look with the layers and all of that so um i just gave y'all you know a quick little curl in the front and so in the back, it's not really curled, but in the front, it's curled. <laughs> so get into it. If you want those sexy, bouncy body curls, y'all, you have to layer the front of your hair. Do y'all see this hair and how it's giving body? Look at them layers. They just, oh my goodness. I love me some layered, bouncy, beautiful, sexy hair, y'all. Get into this look. 
Y'all see how I keep pushing the other hair back, honey, because I sure didn't curl it. <laughs> but after you curl the front or after you curl your hair, you just going to comb it out. And look at how them layers falling. Ooh, so beautiful, so shiny, so bouncy. If y'all want to purchase this hair, make sure y'all visit www.charmingtresses.net. I will link it below in the description. And yeah, get into it. Stay tuned for this baby hair in the front because I'm about to show y'all how I kill these baby hairs. So, baby hair time. So, I'm going to take my Style Factor Edge Booster Edge Control with the solid top. You don't want to use the black top. The solid top. And you're going to take your edge brush and dab it in the edge control just a little bit. And go ahead and start creating your baby hairs. Remember on one of the previous videos, I told you guys the code to creating flawless baby hair is to flick your wrist a little bit. I know if you feel like baby hair is hard, you can't do it, whatever, like it's really just in your wrist. So make sure you're flicking your wrist a little bit. <laughs> That'll help with creating your baby hair. All right, now that our baby hair is done, here's a little close up. And yeah, get into it. Look at the baby hair, it's flawless. The curls, flawless. The hair, flawless. The layers, flawless. <laughs> get into it. Here's a little clip I put on Instagram. Boom, bomb, bomb, before I did my baby hair. And yes, I'll see y'all on the next video. Mwah.